What is going on guys? Today is Friday. It's a beautiful day outside. So I've got on the bikini. I literally had to put it in my schedule today to suntan because our weather has been so beautiful. Like we're reaching 18 degrees. I'm pretty sure this is like record breaking for April and I have not made it outside to like spend time outside because I've been so wrapped up in doing all these other things, working out at home, trying to be productive. And it just kind of dawned on me that I'm like, I should really make time for myself to go outside and relax in the sun. This is my little setup here. I have two towels and I made this salad. This is like a, I've been making a lot of salads lately. That's like the only thing I'm really interested in eating at the moment. So that's a taco salad. I put ham, chicken, onion, corn, avocado, all that good stuff. And it's just a beautiful day. It's kind of funny because a few months ago, my mom and I were on this big pursuit to find a new house, uh, to get ours on the market, to sell our house and get a new one. But I think honestly, I'm like falling in love with this place and just realizing everything that we do have and we're so grateful to have here. The beautiful weather, living on the island. Like I could not imagine being any anywhere else right now. Anyways, I'm gonna be outside. I'm gonna be suntanning. I literally put it in my schedule to suntan, like just be outside for two hours, get as much vitamin D as possible. And yes, I will check in with you guys after. Hey guys, today's Saturday, April 11th. I am doing a podcast today. I was invited to do a podcast and I am doing that in one hour. So that's why I washed my hair today. I thought that it would really matter if I'm doing a podcast now that I'm realizing, but I'm kind of nervous to do it, to be honest, just because I've never done a podcast before. And I just, like, I haven't really spoken to many people this whole quarantine. Like, I mostly just talk to my best friend Tara in Ontario and that's pretty much it. So it'll be weird to like sit down and talk to somebody else for an hour. I just feel like we all have days where we doubt ourselves and that was definitely me yesterday. Like I was just doubting myself and feeling bad and I spent all day in the sun in my bikini and I just couldn't help but like think and overthink and be like, I'm not where I want to be. I don't look how I want to look. And I remember looking back at my reverse diet photos and, and everything and I remember feeling that way during my reverse diet, like in my head being like, I'm getting fat, blah, blah, blah. But looking back on those, fo on those photos, I was like, I looked amazing. I looked so incredible. So why did, why was I feeling that way? And why was I so scared to take photos and you know, like hype myself up? And then something clicked in my head and I was like, oh, I'm also doing that right now. <laughs> like I'm, I'm just with that negative self-talk and I do it without even realizing it. So I think I'm just trying to be more gentle with myself and, and kind of be like, you know what? You look bomb. No matter what body composition you are, you are fire. So just, just keep that with you. Okay. Wow. I just did a glute workout and it was actually like so bomb it was so good i haven't had a good workout like that in a long time and i think the reason why the workout was so good was because i had somebody comment to me on my instagram and basically like bash the home workouts and be like there's no way that you can get an effective workout without heavy weights and i thought about it and i was like what do you consider a successful workout like the amount of weight you push or the amount that you actually push your body. If you would like to see that workout, it's probably going to be on my Instagram by the time this YouTube video is up. So just go and find it on my Instagram. It'll be under one of the workouts that says glutes at home um, and it'll be there. I, I finished the workout with 10 minutes of cardio just because I was on my phone because I was, I was ordering Uber Eats. <laughs> Or no, not, not Uber Eats, I was ordering DoorDash. I literally have every single food app. It's pretty funny. But as I said, today is like my high carb day slash cheat meal day. So what I ordered from DoorDash was um, I got poke. And as you guys probably know, I love poke. And there's this one store, they all know me in there by name. And they're like, oh, hey, Tessa. And I just, I miss them so much. So I ordered from DoorDash and I got my favorite poke bowl and in the little special instructions, I was like, 
I miss you guys so much. Love, Tessa B. So <laughs> I hope they see that because I really do miss them. They're so nice and they're one of those local restaurants that I just like, it's my favorite. So if you guys are ever in Victoria, BC or you live in Victoria, BC, I highly recommend going to Poke Fresh. It's the one in Cook Street Village, seriously. Oh my God, best, the best poke. I'm not really like a chocolate person, but ever since my show ended, I've been a chocolate person. So I ate a bunch of these before my workout. These are those little foil wrapped Easter egg chocolates and then these little bunnies. They're literally from the dollar store. So good, I ate them in the sun, like sun tanning. And I was just like, this is this is a good day. <laughs> that probably also amounted to why my workout was so good. So I just got my poke and they left me a little note. Miss you tons. That is so cute. Oh my God. Okay, I just realized I never actually told you guys what was in here. So I got brown rice. I got half brown rice, half mixed greens. I got it with sockeye salmon. It's got jalapeno peppers in it, cucumber, carrot, corn, edamame, and seaweed, and kale. Oh, and there's also pineapple in here as well. Well, this is our cheese and smoked salmon platter. And now we are about to have some white wine, which is homemade and enjoy our little, what's this called? A shark, charcuterie board? S snack. <laughs> I'm trying to be fancy. <laughs> so that's salmon cream cheese, that's uh, blueberry jam. That's some kind of walnut whipped cheese. These are Breton crackers, that's mozzarella, maple, ham, and smoked salmon. Yeah, looks good. The dog is heavy breathing. Hey guys, today's Monday, or it's Easter Monday actually, and I am by myself because my mom works today, so nothing new there. I just did half an hour of cardio and now I'm gonna make a protein shake. Uh, I've been making this like mocha protein shake, so I take one scoop of OxyWay. This is EHP Labs OxyWay vanilla ice cream, and then I also put one spoonful of instant coffee and then a bunch of ice and it's like the best thing in the world like it is so good and notice my appetite's been really weird lately like it's I don't really have an appetite or I don't really feel like cooking anything I am getting a pack of chicken to do meal prep making sure I eat something when I don't feel like eating something I'll have a protein shake um, because at least it's something right so significantly out of breath from going upstairs. My days have pretty much been the same every day. Just spending all of my time out here. I actually got a pretty wicked tan. I don't know if I'm looking more tan or not, but uh, I've been tanning a lot, spending a lot of time in the sun, doing a lot of journaling because really there's not much else to do. I'm actually kind of considering getting shredded. <laughs> Like, obviously not like stage lean because that's insane. That was like, what, 105 pounds and you know, like I'm not gonna diet down to that. But part of me is like, when I was on prep, I had so much discipline and my days were so structured and scheduled and I felt like I was on top of the world in a way where I was so, you know, organized and I had everything set out and like, we don't really know how long this quarantine is gonna go for. I was watching the news and Justin Trudeau said, something about like it might be a year like a complete year until things are normal again so i'm like hmm we're heading into summer i have all the time in the world i own a treadmill and my mom is working most of the time so it's not like me and my mom are doing any cool things like obviously we had our weekend together but that's pretty much it like i just get weekends with my mom other than that i'm by myself and i was just thinking i'm like that'd be cool like to to get shredded again wouldn't be prep and i wouldn't be dieting down to 105 pounds because that's ridiculous and i have no desire to be there i just feel like it would be something for me to do like a project because i remember i did all my prep vlogs and that was such a good time i'm just pondering with the idea nothing's really set in stone if anything i might just start doing more cardio and that's probably gonna be it. Today is a Wednesday. It is so beautiful outside. It's like 20 degrees. I'm out there tanning as usual. I'm also just preparing a salad for lunch. So I have some 
chicken in the pan and I have everything in the bowl. Fun fact, did you know that tomato is high in vitamin K? And vitamin K is a blood thickener? I found that out today, I did not know that and I thought it was very interesting. Now, before I wrap up this video, I wanted to show you guys what I usually do to plan out my day because I had a few people ask me on Instagram like how I do my to-do lists and how I do my daily planning. So. I am going to run you guys through how I do that. These are my two notebooks. I have one notebook for my macros and everything. This is my notebook where I write down my daily to-do list. Um, now, when I do my to-do list, it's things that, they're not necessarily big things, but it's an accumulation of a bunch of little things that I can do during the day that just make my day a little bit more organized and make me feel a little bit more accomplished at the end of the day. As you'll see, I wrote a little quote here, take the good day, feel accomplished, because I've been really, really hard on myself to be productive, to do things, and I think I just needed that reminder to just take the day as a good day. So you'll see on my to-do list, it's just a bunch of little things I have. Um, I crossed out cardio 300 because I did my cardio this morning. I'm gonna train glutes today, clean my room, read 10 pages of a book, listen to a new podcast episode. I've been listening to podcasts as I walk my dog. Um, I find it just really helps get through the walk a little bit better just cause once you do the same routine every single day, it does get a little bit boring. I'm gonna film a YouTube try on haul because there's a bunch of new Gymshark items releasing soon. So I wanna do an in-depth review on those. And then I'm also going to be filming an IGTV tutorial on how to do kneeling hip thrusts because I get so many questions on the kneeling hip thrust, I just wanted to clear it up. So that's my to-do list for today. It's actually a pretty big to-do list for today. Yeah, that's how I plan my day. And it's honestly gorgeous outside. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I am looking a little bit more tan. <laughs> I've been tanning every single day. Okay guys, this is the end of the video. My camera died when I filmed that little last part about how I get my day ready. This is officially the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for tagging along. And I will see you guys very shortly in the next video.